click the admin gear. Then under course administration, we'll go to users. Within users, we will click groups. And we'll see at the bottom of this page, if I scroll down, we have the option to create groups. Now I have already two created here, but one can create a group. And I will call this group C. And I'm going to indicate that I would like to save changes. And I now have three groups, but no one has been added to my group C yet. And I make sure that group C is selected. And I scroll down so I, you can see what I'm doing here. And I want to add some users to this particular group. And it brings up the uh, individuals from my class. And it turns out that Devin uh, is going to be in that group. And there he is. And I would also like uh, Gary to be in that group. And he's there as well. And I come down here and I just go back to groups. And now each group has a certain number of students. And for initial creation, that really is all there is to it.